Hello everyone, welcome back to Trip Dog Gaming here on YouTube. This is the Game Scum, and we are in Season 4, and now Episode 45. And I guess we have to get moving. Did you know why? Because... We're cold, basically. Um, we're still wearing the puppet suit, as you can kind of see there. Um, but we need to go and do some more testing of the puppet suit. So last episode was the C2 bunker. You know where we're going today? We're going all the way down to the torpedo factory so he should be a bit more comfortable down there to be honest with you but yeah all that way down to Z1 it's a long way so I'm gonna get going if I can remember what key to press to shut the map and yeah we're gonna take off down there and uh, we're gonna test out just walking through we're just gonna basically walk through the factory walk up to close by the puppets uh, I haven't been able to do that yet with a bomb puppet so that would be interesting to try it um, yeah, hopefully I don't, uh, die doing it, but yeah, it's all, you know, part of the testing phase of the puppet suit, I guess. Anyway, guys, I am going to open the door. Look at that. That is just fantastic. Cars loaded up. I, um, also need to get some fuel, so I will probably do that on the way down. Uh, we shut the door again. There you go. Perfect. And, uh, yeah, catch you guys down at the Torpedo Base. See you soon. Right guys, I'm still not there, but um, I've just been talking to one of the other puppets, now that I've got this puppet suit on, just trying to find out some information about, no, no, not not really, just, well, she was in here when I came in here, and she's like, she's very, very, very sleepy, very, I hypnotised her basically. No, I'm just, I'm on the way down to the torpedo base, and I decided I might come down and grab some fish, so... Just wanted to show you a little bit of the puppet suit in action down at the uh, sardine and tuna factory. As we scoot across here, down to where we know all the tuna and the sardines are. Yeah, I'll go around here. I haven't actually, I don't think since I've had the puppet suit on, I've actually heard a, a beeper. Maybe you don't. Alright, All right, time to get a little bit of tuna going. Uh, those bullets, by the way, were on the bench there just be before I started talking to the uh, the puppet on the ground. If you believe that. Sardines. That's pretty cool. So some of these do have two tins in them. Just it, It's the weirdest feeling, I've got to say. Seeing these guys, I hope I don't get that kind of uh, misunderstanding going for myself, where I, you know, end up with the puppet suit not on, and then I mistakenly just walk up to the puppets and then just get mugged. Because it's highly possible. So if we come away with one or two bags of sardines, then that's a bit of a bit of a win. Oh, so on the way down, I actually dropped in at the petrol station and grabbed um, some fuel for the car and I filled up, I think it was five hiking bags. Not hiking bags, just five large fuel containers full of fuel. Do you realise there's like four puppets just here? And they have no clue. So yeah, I've filled up with fuel. I just kind of, th I thought about it, I almost emptied the entire uh, gas station of fuel. And then I kind of thought, ah, actually, there's a fuel station just there, really. Those, it's like the, for the boats, basically. Doesn't mean you can't use it just to fill up containers, though, so you could do that as well, I suppose. Unless you know, you know, a good half a dozen petrol stations around the map, then you don't mind travelling it bit of a different uh, distance to sort of try to pick them up I suppose. Alright, doing really well so far, so I don't want to spend too much time here because the whole point is actually the torpedo factory, but if I can run around and pick up a few... See, it is so much quicker though because I'm not interacting with the puppets as much. Look at that, that is amazing. What an easy way of getting loot. These don't have sardines. Yeah, they have everything else but sardines, I think. Alright, guys. There's a few in here. 
Actually, maybe we just overfill ourselves a little bit, and then I can put them back into another another bag, perhaps. Yeah, I think so. I might just do these ones. I'm sure you guys have seen me doing the uh, sardine and tuna factory before, but we're just gonna fill up as much as we can, as quickly as we can, and get on our way. Man, this, well, I did notice, I have been going through the, the tuna in particular uh, quite a bit recently, so it will be good to get uh, my tuna cupboard restocked. Uh, that's back at the C2 base, by the way. Okay, I reckon that that's enough. Just want to find out from this guy. Um, do you reckon that, you know, can you see the stuff in my bag? Do you reckon that's enough? Does that fill... Would that fill, uh, do you think, everything? Would it last a while? I haven't even touched the, the puppet suit yet. Is he talking to me? Do you reckon? No, apparently he's not. Not interested. Alright, let's see if we can just grab a few from here and we'll go. It'd be funny if you um, accidentally didn't realise, but putting stuff inside the cursed puppet suit makes it not hidden anymore or something. would <laughs> be like, why are they attacking me? Why am I getting mugged? Oh my goodness. How much space have I got left? Oh, the sporran bag. It's like completely and fully decked out with um, a restock of tuna and sardines. Oops. Two more. One there. One there. And that's it. Alright, guys, I'm going back. Thanks, dude. See you, catch you later. There's one puppet to another, kind of. Pretty cool, hey? So the puppet suit's pretty good in one way. Another thing I'd like to do is to test it out in the city. Go and have a really good... It might be uh, multiple episodes, but just testing out the puppet suit in the city, going around and exploring all the buildings and stuff like that. I reckon that'd be pretty cool. Anyway, guys, I'm going to put all this away and I'll catch you guys at the torpedo base. See you soon. Alright guys, we're back outside the torpedo base, at our torpedo base down here as well. And, um, I forgot, I just had a quick look in here and I forgot, we've got stuff in here. Like, there's actually some nice weapons in here. AK-15s, there's a spare M249, there's a few of the M16s in here as well. A few other weapons in here. Hmm. Almost looks like I should be taking a few of these back. There's some crossbows as well. Anyway. Anyhow, it looks like the, um, I think I had a workbench here in the corner, so again, that's something that if you're not hanging around, don't touch it much, it just seems to disappear. I don't know why, it's kind of a, I'm pretty certain it is a bug of some sort, but anyway. Alright, so we freed ourselves up. Um, I did stop at another petrol station, and, uh, I filled up and uh, grabbed a bit of loot from the petrol station. There's, there's a couple of repair bays just there, so I went in there and grabbed a bit of stuff, some repair kits and stuff from there, so I thought that was pretty cool. Alright, we'll stop in our normal place just here. Now, this should be a little bit different because I don't have to worry about the puppets are chasing me. Now, I've got plenty of space in here. Um, I'm trying to remember now, I put my AK in one of the boxes, I think. So it doesn't matter now, even if there's guys sitting in here. I still haven't, funnily enough, come across a bomb puppet yet. I don't know whether they just basically don't appear. Um, I don't know. Uh, I don't think this was the best location, was it? We used to walk straight through here. Although, funnily enough, it was up on top of that gangway where I found an AK-15 before, so... You can... Hang on a second. 
All the good gear's really in that building, right? But hang on, isn't there another room that I've just missed? Going back this way? Yeah. There is. Alright, let's see what we can find here. Anything useful? I'll grab the extra little bit of water, that could be... could be useful. No. No. So this is the first of the containers, so an AK-47. Uh, flare gun, yeah, maybe. I'll throw the binoculars out. Uh, another f uh, maybe I should just put them like that. Is that upside down? No. Alright. Oh, there's an M249 in here. Eh, that is a bit unusual. I think I found one in there before. Car 98, can I fit it in? I can. Eh, uh, yeah, amazingly enough. Pretty much filled up my first uh, hiking bag already, basically. Those in there. Nothing, nothing. Okay. Well, I think that's about it for the high end loot. You can search through every other bag and pick up little bits and pieces of stuff everywhere, I suppose. Alright. Certainly have filled up a few bags already. I believe that one is empty. So, equip that. Yep. How am I off really for food and water? Uh, water is down a tiny little bit, so how about we just take one drink? Kind of feels funny at the moment, because it's like I haven't had the need to use the gun at all. I've got it on me, but I guess you could call it just another slot for carrying another gun. Yeah, it does feel awfully weird doing this without anyone paying much attention to you. Oh, you know what? Maybe it's a case of the bomb puppet is in here, but he's just lying on the ground. He's not going to come jumping on up at me or anything, because he can't hear me or see me. Unless, unless he's walking around and I see him. And he's not going to aggro at me, I don't think, unless I shoot him. Or hit him, or something like that. A uh, little bit of ammo, I suppose. Alright. Climbing up to the most important place, the big room. With probably the most loot. I tell you what, you do get through your looting a lot quicker because you don't have to keep stopping for the puppets. Anything in there? Bit of 45, is that the same box? Yes, it is. This is a different box. Grab some 9mm. Up selling all this anyway. Hello. See they yeah, that's not bad. Pick up oops, I might put it down there. MBG. We'll go through everything in this building, I think, anyway, but uh, no. Haha, <laughs> yes. Close very close to hundred percent. nine mil, is that nine mil? Join those. I should be selling this stuff, hey. All these extra magazines and bits of ammo and stuff. I, I did it. Oh, SVD. Yeah, I haven't, actually haven't seen an SVD in the whole game yet. I haven't been worrying too much about the syringes, to be honest. I've got a fair few. Can I do that one? New. No. Okay. There's a gun. There's a bottle of beer. Uh, I would think probably no for all those. That's more 9 mil. And I think these are already done, aren't they? Yeah, okay. Alrighty, so it's basically the big stuff now out of these guys. <sighs> Do I really want... Probably not. I'll take it out. 2M918s, okay. didn't I, so I can join them, right, uh, M1, alright, that'll have to go over there, won't worry about 
that. Ooh, a little HS, hang on. Can we do that and gather any more space? I don't know. That's more 357, so we can join that. Okay, so we've got. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Still got 8 to go. Somehow the Hunter 85 might make that a miss. So let me put both of them down there. Actually, a small gun might fit in there anyway. Uh, more 9s. So hang on. Can I? I can. Join it. Yep. AS Vel, which is pretty cool. Put that down there. Might leave a little gap there. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is where it becomes a problem, doesn't it? Um, let's resort some of this. Uh, put that in there. Looks better though, Trevor, if it's the right way around. Now this is a fat gun, isn't it? So it kind of needs some more space, Trev. Uh, I don't think that's going to fit. Is the gun actually going to fit? No, it doesn't. Alright, let's do some more Tetris stuff here. Uh, that's not going to work, is it, Trev? Hang on. Will the gun actually fit in there? It does. So they can just go back like that. Is that 45 gonna squeeze in there? It does. Alright. Let's put this down in a sporin bag. So that's all done. Hello. He's not dead so I can't search him. Or her. Sorry madam. Can't... Uh, can I... No matter how I do that, I can't fit that in, can I? Yeah. I don't think you're going to do it, Trev. There's certainly enough room there, but you'd have to squeeze things in a little bit, I think. So what's left in the last two? That I'll definitely take. That I'm not overly excited about. And there's two of them. Okay. Uh, probably would have been good to come back with the two of those. Be worth a few bucks. Might do that yet. See you guys. It's a bit hard to get around them when they're not dead. <laughs> Whatever reason. Climbing down. Well, that's still a lot of loot. Actually, I might come back here, grab the two guns on my way back to the little tower near the port there. the second one, although it's a lot of climbing there, Trev. Actually, we might go over to the port first and just see what we get. If we're packed out with really good loot, we won't worry about it. If we have space, we'll come back and pick them up. Alrighty. So I've got M1 rifle, that's one. Then two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I've picked up eight guns. Yeah, I reckon they're getting close. If they were fixed up, I reckon we're talking about chicken. I'm not talking about chicken. I'm talking about maybe ten grand. So it'd be a good little little sales thing, I think. Uh, I think that one's empty, so that can go in there. Uh, hang on, we'll equip the red bag. Uh, just open this. Can I fit anything in there that's? Pistols will definitely fit in. Which means that maybe I'm better off just doing that. Oops. Come on, play nicely. No, that is actually a 4x4 four four area, isn't it? Yeah. Alright, so that's all in there. There's another piece of ammo. And there was another piece of ammo. Could put that in there. Now there's just the NVG and that, so hang on. That was, I think that's completely packed, isn't it? Yeah. Oops. No, put that in there. 
So I think car one box is kind of full. Car two on the don't set the name. Hang on, car two has got that in it. Okay, all right. I can I can definitely just fit this stuff in here. Still inside the box, which is all good. All right. A new hiking bag, a new trip. Now this is going to be interesting because I'm just doing a run all the way over to the other side of the torpedo base area. I'm going to have to have a break on the way over because there's no way I can run that far. This demo is pretty good but not that good. So I'm heading actually over there. Gee, it was, he's athletic, I tell ya. Not as athletic as the character in No One's Five, but still, pretty good. Just don't fall in the plonk, true. Yeah, I have a sneaky feeling the puppets, the suicide bombers are around, but they just don't hear me because they don't recognise me as anything but a, a mad puppet running everywhere. Take a break here. Yeah, that's pretty. Oh, I've got the rifle on me. Man! How many times do I do that now and forget? But you guys were looking at that and thinking, he forgot. Again. Alright, let's see if we can slide along here without falling in the water. So, so far it's just the razors and Mr. Brenner that react to me. Hopefully there's no suicide puppet here that reacts to me, but I don't think so. I'd have to either hit him or something. Come on, forget about your stamina problems. Climb the ladder, dude. Look at that beautiful ocean. So there's bound to be a puppet up here somewhere. Mind you, they'll be lying on the floor. Lazy. Uh, not that I'm really expecting too much out of these places, but... No. Uh, that's a no. No, did I skip one? I did skip one. Shoot, these guys, what's with all the shoes? Start a shoe shop. Could possibly make use of that. A uh, little flare gun, some ammo. One of things don't get done around here. These guys. Hmm. Wouldn't exactly call that the best gun. Come on, guys! All that, man. See what's in here. Is there a suicide puppet in here? No, there's not. I am a tad surprised. They're all they're all sleepy today, apparently. I can't fit it that way. Okay. Oh, yes. That one fixed up could be worth about three to four grand. And there's that. And there's that. And that. Well, uh, I always get worried about coming down here too quick and then falling in the water. It's not the widest edge there. Yeah, it might be worth grabbing those extra guns and getting repair kits out and repairing them, or perhaps even, um, see there's another helmet, packet of potato chips, see Jimmy did you like that, I, I, I was thinking about the chips then I went nah, 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 what's my metabolism, 10 kilos, 13.1, yeah I'm getting there, slowly but surely, it's taking me forever though, but 
hey, it's like anything dietary wise, isn't it? it? Takes a while to lose weight when you're struggling a little bit. Uh, rinse me. Are these separate bags. Huh. Yeah, you know, sometimes do pick up some good separate kind of stuff. Let's have a look. Sorry, Ray. Yep, no. All good. Yay! There's another toolkit. I mean, they're kind of handy to have two on some of the bases. And uh, nope. What did I find? before. I found some unusual seeds before. Oak. Oak seeds or something. Haven't, haven't seen them before. Sometimes I wonder whether scum kind of just quietly behind the scenes um, adds in some extra loot, different loot types that you're not expecting. It's like, oh. Either that's completely new. Um, that's it, it's a fuel container. Shame though that it's that expensive. Uh, hang on a second. Can I squeeze that new? I can put that in there and then that in there. Can I fit the gun in there? Still can't. Can I fit that gun in there? No. Can I fit the AK 47 though, can't I? <laughs> uh, that doesn't mean a lot though. Uh, Trying to make room here, Trev. Will it fit that way? Just. I don't know, I th wasn't it that gun, the VSS VZ that I sold once before, and it's worth a few thousand? It's kind of a bit surprising how much it's worth. Oh, 308 suppressor. Wow. I don't see that very often. Uh, is that all the same stuff here? Yeah. I'm just looking at grabbing a few things on the way back. Uh, drink. Not that I can fit that much in now, but. A new. Uh, yeah, I suppose. Actually, he's pretty hot down here still. He's just only got the puppet suit on it. Yeah, I suppose it kind of... Yeah, it looks like it's, the sweat's pouring off him. Jeez. Alright, I might not worry about the two guns at the top then. Or should I? Actually, I didn't loot the bottom of the building here, so maybe I should. Let's swap over a bag and go back in and do that. Take care of that as well. I actually am very curious about how much money I can get from all this... See, normally I'd run in here and there'd be a bomb puppet in here. Alright, well my heart is beating a million miles an hour. Car 2 was just the excess stuff. Can I just squeeze? I can. Alright, good to know that's out of the way. Uh, put that back in. Oops. Is it fuel 1? That's got that bag. That's got stuff in it, though. That's the other miscellaneous stuff that I had before, so hang on. We can put some gear in here, I would think. That looks pretty good. Pretty good. 45 ammo. I might actually eat that. And then the rest of it is just... Hang on. Squeeze that in. Yeah, so everything else is back to normal, so we can put that back in there, that back in there, and then we'll just grab a bag out of fuel two. Maybe the blue one. Transfer that over. Equip that. Put the box back in the car. Well, he's down a little bit on his food, hey? Alright, let him munch on that. And then we might take a sip of water. I don't think the toaster pastry things are going to actually be much filling in the way of water. 
So we'll take a drink of that. Yeah, I might just play it safe. That's enough for the time being. Alright, let's go back and grab the guns up the top. And then we'll do a little bit of looting at the bottom. And then that's not bad actually. It's they're the hottest areas in this whole building area, I suppose. In terms of loot. I reckon we've got at least ten grand's worth of stuff in the first bag. Maybe five to ten grand in the second, perhaps. Tell you what, if you want to wear his weight down and take off some of the fat, just keep climbing ladders and run around the place. Now, where was I when I found the guns? Here. Alrighty, we should be able to easily fix these two up. So that didn't have anything... I actually think I threw it all out, so hang on. Oh, was that the hunter? I might end up throwing that out again. <laughs> uh, put the shoddy over there, I guess. Just don't expect to be using it though, Trev. Um... Yeah, I suppose. Let's just go straight to the bottom, I suppose. Or should we... hang on. Just run down here and jump in. A couple of containers here. Oh, see? Wouldn't have had that otherwise. That's another 308. 338 suppressor, SVD. Oh, when are you going to show me an actual SVD? Like, are they still in the game, or just taken out, are they just rare, or what, I don't know. There's the boxes... ...way up here. Uh, there's a tactical handgun holster thing, but no. Wasn't there another one over this side? I just realised there's a lazy puppet sitting there. Typical. Climb down. I can s can't see a bomb puppet, I can see another puppet there. Not that they should be worrying me at all. Oh yeah. Not bad. Just nine magazine. Probably won't worry about those guys. Can't say no. Can't say no. What else is in here? There's another M9. Which, you know, you never know. Sell for a bit. Actually, that's what I should be doing. Sell the Cuban cigars. See how much I get for them. That's a no. Another no to the pen. What else have we got? Ooh. There's some lunch. Yeah, that's alright. Do that up and we'll end up with some more bucks. 300 bucks or so for the iron lock. Yeah, that might be worth a bit. <laughs> I can hear the Halloween guy. Buzzing around my head. And that's so funny just seeing the toolkit sitting like that on top. Alright, we'll grab that. Don't worry about him. Some more 9 mil ammo. There's the fat puppet. You know full well I'm gonna end up giving myself a hard take but all of a sudden recognise that the um, the bomb puppet's right next to me, hey? It's just a normal puppet. It's kind of like a crane. From the angle
angle I was looking, it looked more like it was a rocket launcher. You know, what the rocket launcher? Okay, there's another gun. Two. He probably can't carry two guns anyway. Actually, I think there's enough weight in there. Uh, I could do this though. That's pretty handy. Uh, not really. At least with the puppet suit on, you can definitely get to everything. Without them. Hang on, that's a nightmare, wasn't it? Carrying on like gooses and screaming at me and whatnot. Oh, another little HS9. I'm gonna run out of space. I can still fit it in. I've gone back to where I started from. Yeah. Alright, guys, I think that's pretty good for the building. For all my looting. Just gonna have a peek in this building and see if there's a bomb puppet down here. It's a normal guy. Normal puppet. Often when I come out of this big building here, when I first come out of the car, I can hear a bomb pop it and it sounds like he's over in that direction, so... That's what made me think, oh, I'm going to have a look and see if there's a bomb pop it sitting on the ground, or lying on the ground. But, um, in this case, no. Alright guys, well that's it for the torpedo base, we didn't do too bad. What I might do, I have to leave the episode, I will take the car back to the base, well you can see me drive it back. I'm going to just go into the base there and see if I can clean up a few things. Um, maybe take some of the weapons that I've got in the cupboards there and... Like, why leave them there? I might as well just take them back to the C2 Trader and just... Have them repaired and... And sold off for as many dollars as I can get from them, I guess. Right, guys, well... Yeah, that's interesting. So that's the entire... Well... Not every bag looted, but the main areas of the torpedo base looted with the puppet suit on, and as you can see, it's a breeze. They don't affect, it doesn't affect anything really. Make, might make him a little bit hot, but I've got all that extra space so I can pick up as much loot as possible, I guess. Anyway guys, I will leave the episode here. Hope you really enjoyed it today. If you did, you can help and support the channel by smashing the like button for the video. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, you can mega help the channel out by subscribing. Alright everyone, thanks so much. Cheers.